Hey guys, what's up? So today we have another sales brochure review. Uh, this one is the Carpenter 50 Years of Service. Uh, this particular sales brochure is from 1973. So at the bottom it says the safest length between home and school. We've got a Carpenter, probably Chevy, maybe a GMC. And then if we wrap around, we've got a Cadet. You can see it actually wraps around on the cover. And then we have a New York Spec Corsair. And then we have a bunch of different buses back here. We have this uh, Chevy, possibly GMC Carpenter with high headroom. We've got this uh, Carpenter Corsair with two entrance doors. A Carpenter Ford with two door lift set up. There's a Carpenter Cadet. Another Cadet with AC. A Corsair looks to be some kind of safari bus. Another Corsair, that one's kind of short. And then there's another Corsair looks to have high headroom. There's a Carpenter Lodestar with transit style windows and high headroom. Then we got a Carpenter with a Chevy truck. I believe that's the C10. And then we have the Carpenter Lodestar there. And then a Carpenter Lodestar with a midship lift door and underbody storage. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside this sales brochure. Uh, it's definitely got some interesting things in it since it's from the uh, 50th anniversary of Carpenter being around uh, in 1973. So front page got the index. On the second page there is Ralph H. Carpenter, the individual that actually founded Carpenter. You can see it says the school bus pioneer. So right here it's just got uh, some facts about uh, Ralph and uh, carpenter buses and how he actually started making them. There's an old picture of two carpenter buses on uh, truck chassis, probably Fords. Uh, let's see. Next page, uh, there's just more uh, facts so you can kind of see. We've got pictures. There's a carpenter right there. The first all steel carpenter body built in 1935 is supporting all of the production workers. Ralph Carpenter, company president, and Ollie Eager, plant foreman, proudly looks on. So, one of those guys is Ralph Carpenter, and the other one is the foreman. And then there's the workers standing on the roof of the bus. This other page here, we've got the office assembly plant and machinery that once produced Carpenter bus bodies sit idle in the ruins after the disastrous fire in March 1956. So right here we see a Carpenter Ford uh, that burned up and then a few other uh, buses and buildings in the background. And then over here there's the actual Carpenter building probably around 73 when the sales brochure came out. There's the uh, president and a few other people at the time you can read there if you'd like to. And then we've got a picture of the plant Three new windshield designs for 73. So there's a Carpenter uh, bus right there. And then the three new windshield designs. We've got the Carpenter Cadet. So the Cadet CV, the problem solver. And there's the inside shot. And then there's a nice side shot of a Cadet. Here's the body frame diagram for a carpenter. Definitely seen this one before in other sales brochures and manuals. 50 years of proven rugged reliability. There's the under frame. And there's just some different shots here of what it's actually pointing out on the frame. So you got the bumper and then different sidewall construction, rub rails, stuff like that. And here's a picture of a carpenter being dropped on a Chevy or GMC chassis. And then it says ruggedness. Then we've got different pictures of the construction process. There's a roof being built. There's a nice carpenter lodestar that was likely bound for New York. There's a bus body waiting to be painted. A bus that lasts especially long. Here again we have more pictures of production. There's a body. There's a body getting painted. There's a few bodies in the paint booth. 
And then underneath the pictures it says must pass critical test. Then there's a text to go with it. Safety appointments for passenger and driver. So right here we've got a diagram of the doorway. And then on the side the actual points for the diagram. And over here we've got the entrance doors. There's the different options. You got a sedan door, jackknife door. Uh, looks like the door that both go out. There's the back door of a carpenter. Emergency exits. Got the side window. Close up of the emergency door handle. And then it says for the physically handicapped, we've got a ramp, which is definitely an interesting option that you never really saw. It's kind of like that icy low floor concept, except this isn't a low floor. The ramp actually goes up to the body instead of being level with the ground. And then we've got the actual lift bus. Here we've got different pictures of seats being put together. There's a seating diagram and various photos of different seating options. You can see it says seating design for comfort, safety, and service. There's the inside of a wheelchair bus. There's the inside of a regular bus with all kinds of students. And there's driver's seat options. Happy, comfortable passengers. So here we've got uh, different heating options and different photos to show you uh, what they look like. There's a picture there. And then we've got the console for the heater and the actual switch panel. Then you can see different kinds of vents and connections. Carpenter transits for extra performance. And then we've got a nice New York spec Carpenter Corsair with some interesting uh, four ways. And then there's a Carpenter Corsair uh, right there. The serviceable, enjoyable Corsair. So this is a Corsair uh, multi-function bus uh, definitely a beautiful bus I absolutely love that color scheme uh, definitely looks great on that bus I'm assuming that's the same bus since the windows and seats seem to be matching the actual bus the inside secret of carpenter strength and durability so there's the carpenter underfloor for a transit and then we've got the structure diagram for a Corsair there's the back bumper, different uh, color codes for the st steel strengths. And then again, different mounts and rub rails and stuff like that. Carpenter seating, the very best for every purpose. So it looks like here we've got different options for actual uh, activity buses and stuff like that. Uh, that you could have, there's a transit style window. There's the inside of a bus. A few different options you could get. There's an air conditioning unit. Looks like we've got a flow of air diagram there. Just a few other shots for the actual inside for the AC vents. And I'm guessing that is the motor that would run the air conditioner. Some of the little things that make Carpenter worth owning. So we've got different doorways here. One's of a transit, uh, one's for a conventional. Uh, looks to be just different doorway options in general. Uh, we got an emergency exit window. There's the exit window for a rear engine. There's the transit window. There's the inside shot of a window. There's underbody tire storage, underbody storage. There's the uh, work area for a front engine. And there's two rear engines. Looks like he's working on it more underbody storage, roof racks, and more underbody storage. And then here we just got varying options that you could get on the actual bus. You got the rooftop rack, different styles of mirrors, driver fans, fog lights, tire storage, a bottom rub rail, a air horn, school bus charter signs, flip sign and just more different options there's a full-size mud flap for the back 
mud flaps, a carpenter warning light monitor, sanders, a, let's see, and then a rubber tire guard for the back axle, and then just other mirrors, and then here's a uh, carpenter specifications list, and then you guys have seen the back cover. So that is the Carpenter 50 Years of Service sales brochure. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Let me know what you think. And which of these buses on the back cover would you like to see in person? Um, I definitely think that Corsair is very interesting with the way it's set up. But I love this Ford with the, with the lift. And obviously this Lodestar with the midship lift. Um, so yeah, which one of these buses would you like to see in person? And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching guys, and yeah.